Welcome back to another edition of Ego and Break. I'm your host, Dynamite J. Andrews. Got the Mississippi Madman sitting to my left. Yep. And uh, today we're going to talk wrestling. We're going to talk a little bit about Tracy Smothers. Um, definitely want to share our memories of him and want to send our prayers out to his family and fans. Uh, it's, a, it's a little late on our part, um, but still, nonetheless, I'm sure they can still use the prayers. Um, and then we're going to talk the finals of the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling title tournament. Uh, I think we both kind of pegged that one. No, not really. I really uh, thought they'd go the other way. Well, I was hoping they'd go the other way, but uh, I dig, you know. No, I it no wasn't a, it a bad, way, but, bad winner. Yeah. And uh, maybe just talk about whatever else comes up in conversation. So I uh, appreciate you guys checking us out and watching this episode. Check out the past episodes for sure. And... Uh, you know, give us a, a thumbs up or something, or retweet us, or share us, or whatever. Comment. Yeah. Um, Even as a death threat comment, we'll read that online <laughs> for you. Uh, yeah, death, death, death threats may be uh, entertaining. So. I heard my feelings. No, as long as I shoot back. As long as you don't carry mm. them out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talking about uh, shooting people. Um, young pistol. Tracy. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm not yeah. Going with so, uh, what's your? You have first memories of Tracy Smothers? Thug. T is for terrible. H is for hell. U is for ugly. G is for jail. Cause a thug can't spell. Where is that from? Smoky Mountain. Wow. Well, that was part of his group. Thug. <laughs> what group was this? The thug. Literally. That was the group. That was the name of the group. So who thug. was in it? Uh, I've never heard of this. So. Dirty White Boy and Tracy Smothers was, I think, the tag team. They'd look it up when you get time. There's more to it, and I can't remember who was all. But I know at one point it was like a huge tag team. The Rock and Roll Express was even involved with it. Wow. So, yeah, I think it's when um, New Jack and them were there. So, what does Thug stand for again? T is for terrible. H is for hell. U is for ugly. G is for jail, because a thug can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be the title, G is for jail, because a thug can't spell. <laughs> I swear that was it, bro. I hadn't heard it in years. That's why I sent you that bloopers thing, is where he, he would get so damn agitated in his promos, mm -hmm. he would literally start cussing and not mean to. I didn't, uh, I hadn't watched it. I've been so wrapped up with everything. Like, there was one, he just said prick, but I didn't realize you couldn't say prick back in the day on TV, and he's like, damn it, almost made it. <laughs> But he just gets so worked yeah, up. So it's a Tracy Smothers yes. uh, promo bloopers it's or whatever? It's called bloopers, yeah. You definitely got to check it's that out. It's like three or four promos. You definitely got to check it out. I think, I guess my first memory is like Wild-Eyed Southern Boys. So um, in WCW, and then what well, they changed their names, like the Young Pistols or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. And they were saying it didn't really make sense where they were, so... Yeah, it was kind of a it was kind of a rib, but it also kept him in a job. Yeah. So it was kind of do what you had to do, kind of like when he was Freddie Joe Floyd. Yeah, like uh, Cornette was talking about how like he's he's he apologized to him every time we'd see him because of that. He's like, I was just trying to help the guy get some work, and he goes, but once I realized they weren't going to do nothing but job him out, because uh -huh. Cornette, what he wanted to do is bring in some guys that kind of had a name give them some wins that way when the guys that beat them beat somebody with a yeah. name and some credibility yeah. and wwe's like yeah we're gonna make him freddie joe floyd yeah. i don't remember a lot of freddie joe floyd like yeah, what was the that you don't. like was there a gimmick behind <laughs> no. it or like i know the dirty white boy became uh, t.o hopper or whatever and he was a you know a plumber like did Fle freddie, freddie joe, joe was no, is he just like a bummer he would, no, or something? No, Freddie Joe was one of the guys in the back's first name, and Floyd was one of the guys in the back's first name. But I mean, like, so did he have a guy. character, or was no. he just a dude? He was a jobber. I got you. He got paid. Well, I know, like, a lot of those guys that came from Smoky Mountain were essentially given characters, but they were but just job guys. It really wasn't one, though. It was kind of like, he, I guess, kind of a redneck guy. Yeah, so just a bummer and fool kind of thing. I guess. I never really found a Freddie Joe Floyd. Yeah, I don't promo. know if I've ever seen anything you know, of Freddie Joe Floyd. Like I knew he was Freddie Joe Floyd, but I don't, you know. The stuff I remember is him being a tag team, mm -hmm. and uh, like him fighting the Dirty White Boy in that chain match in Smoky Mountain. That's probably the match I remember the best. Yeah. And then I had found some stuff with him in ECW, and it was kind of like right as he left WCW, he come in as a legit threat to Taz. Yeah. And they were it was when they were doing the huge Taz push. 
And I tell you, I beat him in probably eight minute match, I think it was, but it was actually a really good match. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't realize the guy had like real martial arts training, and Cornette was talking about that, and how him and uh, one of the Midnight had martial arts training, and like they Stanley. would do stuff. That's what it was, yeah. And they would do martial art trading back and forth during the matches. Because I think a lot of the stuff I remember from like WCW was the either the Wild Outs, the other boys, or the Young Pistols. I don't remember which it was, but it was with Midnight. Like, yeah, that's what I remember. So. And a few Rock and Roll Express matches, they would do a face-to-face -face match, mm -hmm. and a lot of times it'd be a run-in or something. And then, of course, we get the uh, the FBI at ECW. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Worst dancing in the history of mankind. <laughs> but hey, you got paid. Him and Blue Meanie, but <laughs> but then he would have a serious match. That was yeah. what was always so funny. Is like he could do all the comedy stuff. Uh, if you watch it, I sent you with Colt Cabana. It was like extras from. Uh, Funny Makes Money, mm -hmm. he put it up on YouTube. If you get a chance, go watch it. It's on uh, Colt Cabana's YouTube channel. But, and he's just talking about various people with comedy wrestling. He goes, there, he's kind of more or less how I went from serious to kind of comedy as I got older, because I just couldn't do the serious right. anymore. But he even said like, you know, he's like, even back in my day, I couldn't have done that high flying shit if I wanted to. But his stuff was realistic looking besides that. <laughs> but, even when he did it, that looked real because he was knocking hell out of yeah. you with it. So, so Sometimes the stuff that doesn't look like it hurts hurts yeah, the worst. I've been told that about so, my punches. Yeah, your punches. <laughs> um, look like crap, feel even worse. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love box. When I box, I was trying to keep it in and it's short. With wrestling, you got to draw back, which is you wouldn't do it in a real fight. If you do, they're going to telegraph your punch and they're going to block it. Yeah. A real fight, if you're like this, this, and this... Who's gonna block it? Cause you can't see everything that's coming. Right. So. Yeah. So it is what it is. Just, but uh. That's logic. But yeah, I, I know Tracy definitely had a fan base. So, and it's cool. And thanks to you know the wrestling business and YouTube and things like that, like you live forever. IWA you know? is uh, doing a benefit show for him, and all the money's gonna go to his funeral. That's cool. It was gonna go to his cancer, right. but he passed away, and now it's gonna go for his funeral. So right. I thought that was cool. No, definitely. Um. Then I heard Cornette say that, you know, they found out that, like, he had had a heart attack at some point and didn't even know didn't he had know. one. Yeah. I got an uncle, but that same thing happened to him. He, so he such a crazy, it. you know, and that, you know, a good percentage of his heart wasn't even working. Mm -hmm. And he was still working. Yeah. So just. Well, like Justin <laughs> broke his damn neck and didn't yep. know it. I've yep. known a few people this happened to. So definitely, uh, wrestling is definitely a tough breed of people. For sure. Yeah, we're all a little bit off in the head somehow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, somehow and some way and <laughs> some win and some time. Well, I, I was listening to this deal earlier. They were talking about people t shooting on JBL. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about when they did the ECW one night stand, stand and he smacked Meany in the back yeah. of the head and made him bleed. Well, Tracy stuck up for Meany in the match and mm -hmm. gave old JBL uppercut. <laughs> and uh, he turned around and Sandman had him pulled back with his cane. And old Tracy walked up and gave him a couple good shots too. <laughs> so Tracy wasn't, wasn't this guy that was scared he of somebody. He wasn't scared, huh? You know, a lot of Southern folks will fight you no matter damn what. Well, so, I mean, sometimes we got to, you know. Yeah, you got to. But, you know, picking on somebody like fucking Blue Meanie. Well, now, I don't know if you've ever heard the JBL side was that he caught a stiff shot to the head. And so when he turned around, there was Meanie. Bull crap. Hold I've on. seen the damn match. Hold on a so he said he gave one back, and then Meanie gave some more to him. So he was like, I knocked him out. That's so. not true at all. He's a liar. Because he comes straight across the... Meanie's over here. Blue uh, JBL's here. So, okay, here to here. How do you yeah. get a shot on him? I don't know. And then you see him running through the damn battle roll and bust Meanie in the back of the skull. His back was to him. And he hit wow. the man in his face. I've he never hit him seen in the back it. of the head. I've never seen it. He's so. a line second. Well, you can figure out the rest yeah. of that. But, yeah, that's bull. A line second uh, from Madman's punches. Yeah, well, you know... <laughs> And then turn around later on, Joey Styles knocked his ass out. So <laughs> that ought to say a lot about JBL. Yeah, or Joey. <laughs> uh, Joey, too, yeah. Well, remember uh, who was the other one knocked him out in the bra for all? Did Bart knock him Bart out? Bart knocked him yeah. out. Sure did. Yeah, so. bra for all, that's horrible. Yeah, but, but yeah. still he got knocked out. Yeah. Well, I mean, anybody can get knocked yeah, out by anybody, you know. Um, so, finals of the Ring of Honor tournament. Um, what'd you think? I enjoyed the match. I didn't enjoy the six man. Six man was pretty pretty rough, and for me, uh, the Once whole point of it being, I thought was to introduce EC three, and then he didn't win. 
<laughs> no. They always job out. Not Jay. Uh, the other Mark. One. Mark. They always job him out. And in a way, I think he's a better worker than Jay is. I think he just likes pumping. <laughs> I think he likes losing, I guess. <laughs> or he just don't mind. At least like me. He probably don't give a damn. Well, what did you think about Shane Taylor and his group? It was the first time I'd seen the group. I was impressed uh, with them. I thought they right. looked good, too. Yeah. It's just when they got to the floor and they... I've been so concentrated on this pure wrestling. When it's got back to yep. dive, 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 no sell every damn thing, yeah. I don't give a damn. It uh, I literally want to watch the damn pure wrestling. I know it, it threw me off a bit. I wish they would have put the pure wrestling first. Like I wish it, I had been the whole show. Well, I just like at least I could have been in the moment and then got out of it instead of getting out of it and then I trying just, to get back into uh, it. Like to me, the final was just a little. It was different based on the fact that I wasn't in that zone. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have my mind right for that. No, because every other show you were watching, it was two pure matches. Yeah. And this one, it was dive, 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 no sell, everything. Yeah. I mean, overall, I was impressed with the Shane Taylor's guys, that group. Um, looking forward to maybe O'Shea joining that group because we, we know that, you know, there's at least that possibility where Shane sent him the jacket or whatever. So, pretty hyped for that. And uh, I thought EC3 definitely came in with a, with a different look. A lot of the stuff he did in the ring, I was impressed. Mm -hmm. It's just when they went to the floors yeah. when they lost me. Yeah. It's like every six man, it, you can't never just have a clean ending because there's so many damn people So involved. many people. You got to get so everybody down. Just, to, uh, just, it, but you got to kind of like get them out so you can I win. Know, but you know? It's like a six man down there needs to be false count anywhere or no poles barred or something because there's so many yeah. people involved. Yep. I mean, it's definitely hard. But, uh, like I say, I, I, I enjoyed the finish. It was Hot Sauce Tracy Williams and Jonathan Gresham. And uh, I was hoping that Hot Sauce would win, building on the fact that Jay and Gresham already have the tag titles. Um, however, uh, you know, Gresham winning was really cool. And uh, I've heard now that Hot Sauce Tracy Williams has joined forces with him and Jay Lethal to be like the foundation in Ring of Honor. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. or, or at least that's what I'm thinking of saw. Okay. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but I feel like I saw like a picture or something pop up and it was uh, them three together with like the foundation flag or whatever. So I said the match itself is fine. I didn't think it was going to end when it mm -hmm. ended. I really thought he was going to roll back. I did too because he still had some rope he breaks. He had two rope breaks left. So back I thought I, they would. I even got mad. I'm like, why wouldn't you just roll yeah. back? You weren't that far from the road. Like I thought maybe they would, you know, take it down to kind of the wire almost. I, I really but, thought it would be nobody would have rope breaks. That's but was, what I, thought. I mean, I guess it's cool that Gresham had none and Tracy had two. So I guess it just shows you, even though you got the opportunity to get out of a hold, doesn't mean you can't. It, it was kind of also that the hold that he used to win with is such hard to yep. get on, especially as tall as he is compared to yep. him. Uh, that was one thing that really threw me off. But I thought it would have been cooler if maybe he would have had like Tracy down and put it on him instead of trying to yeah, put it on him. That's what I'm saying. Himself. When he was standing up, it damn near didn't look realistic yep. enough. Yep. Uh, but when he had him on his knees, like that would have been perfect. Right. Like, if he could have just got him down to his size, almost, you know. But, uh, but overall, I mean, I'm just happy that the Pure title's back. I was always a fan of it. And I did not realize it had been so long since it had been last. It's like, what, 2002? Something like that. Yeah, it's like, it's like 15 years oh or something. God, so. I didn't think it was that bad. But it yeah, was. I mean, it seems like it's just such well, a short time. I pulled time. out the match the other night and watched the uh, Join Another Belt. Okay. When... <laughs> And uh, I forgot Williams and one and Daniels and took it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's right, he did. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Rem I knew that they had, like unified him, but yeah. I couldn't remember who. And it was a bloody match, was too. It? Yeah, that's when he has him by the arms and like the poles here, and he's just pulling him into the oh, pole, headbutting the hell out of the pole. And I'm assuming Daniels won that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigel was headbutting the hell out of it. <laughs> so, and, you know, he left and went to. Well, it's in, not an impact at the time, but TNA and become something Wolf. Desmond Wolf. Yeah, and started a well, few now, with an angle that was really good. The But the little part you're missing between there is he he went to WWE. But with the injury. And that's when the hepatitis mm -hmm. stuff came out. And so he went to Impact and like WWE passed on the, yep. or I believe that's the way it went. Um, I could be getting people mixed up with <laughs> Um, but yeah, he ended up leaving there and going to be Desmond Wolf. So, and then uh, he did the documentary that 
I got it and you got it. Yeah, it. it's it's a good dock, so for sure. But uh, I would like to see some of them guys come back and actually give them a fight. Yeah, I, I know Nigel don't work no more, but there's a lot of guys that damn sure could give them a fight. Oh yeah, yeah. So who would you like to see him go against? Just right off. Right off, like next week. He's first title defense. Who is it against? Uh, the villain, Marty Scroll. That could be cool. But Marty's a hell of a technical guy. Yeah. Uh, if Cabana was still there, I'd say Cabana. I just like he, He's yeah. a great technical wrestler. He acts right. like a jackass, right. but he's a great technical wrestler. Uh, and if Daniels could go back in, I'd love to see him and Daniels. I'd like to see the guy that was with um, PJ Black. I can't remember his name. It's very like generic like bob smith or something but the guy that was with pj black i thought that kind of be cool to come out and see like kind of because he was a like a stand-in if someone got hurt or whatever so i thought that kind of be cool and what's the man with silas i'd like to see them have a rematch josh woods yeah, josh woods or even silas honestly yeah so uh, there's uh, a lot of good guys at ring of honor right now yeah uh, i wouldn't mind seeing luke come in and try to go for it luke hawks mm -hmm. that'd be cool that'd be cool or uh, actually see him in Yeha because I don't I don't know if I they've know. ever worked. I don't either, but I know they're from the same area, um, or at least trained in the same area, lived in the same area for a short period of time. So yeah, like Yeha, I mean he gets my vote for the yeah. first title defense. I mean, there's a lot of guys um, so I can think of. So it'd be cool to see what going on, what you know, how they go forward with the pure title. And with uh, if I just said pick somebody we know, I'd pick JD with all the judo and martial arts stuff he's yep. been learning here lately. would be cool i'd like to see a guy his size try to go with that with would literally like be that. that you know what i mean because he's a big old hoss oh yeah and then like factoring in not using the ropes yeah. and the rope breaks and all that kind of stuff it would be a fun match for sure but now he'd, he'd have to get away from the yeah the punches he does punch yeah you know, but um i don't know if people realize but somebody chops or palm strikes you that's almost as bad yeah. if not worse sometimes yeah. depending on where they catch you oh yeah for sure so because you know uh, during the match like tracy kept chopping yes. gresham down like one chop and boom he was on his back you know that so it hurts <laughs> I mean, it's definitely uh, uh and right now i mean i know it, it won't happen because he's supposed to sign with the uk version but i'd like to see him and walter Oh wow, that'd be now, Walter might try to put his front to his back, but that'd be such a size mismatch. I don't know. But technical, that's what I'm talking about. Period. Yeah. Or uh, what's the guy they call the bruiser weight? Yep, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn, I'd like to see that. Like that would said, be cool. Some some inner promotion. There, there's a lot up. of dream matches out there, but with the way WWE is, there. Oh yeah, you're right never now seeing they're those. doing the same thing again. They're trying to start getting people and just have them to not do nothing with them yep. and i'm like that sucks i wouldn't want to be that guy i mean don't get me wrong it's easy pay well i mean is it i mean you're there busting your butt training and not get but you're getting money yeah i guess you're getting money for what you that's want. why i say it's easy money but are you doing what you want to do to get the money right does that make sense Sorry. all right so let's wrap this up with some uh some like uh fantasy booking stuff that we didn't just do but yeah. okay um well those were what we'd like to see <laughs> so nwa you know has lost a lot of people yeah no kidding um is there any people you'd like to see go there that's not you yeah, know affiliated with a big promotion there are a lot of people that i'd like to see they got pulled out of that damn um me too movement uh like um well that guy isn't part of that but uh, fat too. Uh, bulldog son. Oh, Harry. Yeah, Harry. Uh, hell, uh, Hammerstone. There's, there's, That'd be cool. A, a lot of MLW guys I'd pull. I'd love to see like some like semi lower guys like Moonshine Mantel would be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I think like Ray Fury would be a great fit in the NWA. You know, Wes Warren, JD Jenkins. Those guys could do a lot. Love to see John Davis in NWA. I know you know he's got that history there, being a former NWA champion uh, or tag champion or whatever. So, yeah. like, could you imagine like the fight him and uh, Murdoch could have? Like, oh, I'd love to see that. That would be awesome. 
So uh, I always thought Plunkett. I don't know if Plunkett's semi. Plunkett in is and affiliated yeah. somehow. I with saw that. him in the back so, of a suit. And yeah, I've like, seen him in a suit. Right. So yeah, <laughs> it's a little different. I like you, Plunkett, but you don't look right in yeah. the suit. Um, so it'd be cool just to see some some guys come in and kind of freshen up. And like what was you, already fresh, I guess you would say. Yeah, he's kind of everywhere. I, I'd really he like got to signed anybody. to Ring of Honor. Did he? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and I think I, we had mentioned it, but he got signed right when the pandemic was happening. Mm -hmm. So it kind of got like lost in the shuffle. Um, so this was kind of his first, you know, his debut after well, six, really, eight months of yeah. being signed. Um, okay. Have you seen the last uh, thing that MOW just put out? With the ACH and all them guys, so which one? No, um, it's like Contra, I guess, are taking over the headquarters or no, whatever. No, I hadn't seen that. I was and uh, so you got uh, the Samael guy in there in like the control room or whatever running it, and all of a sudden you see all the MLW guys coming like fighting their way back into <laughs> the building and like uh, beating up like you know the Contra members that are you know like stuck out at the gates and stuff and. He's freaking out. Watch them. Here they come. Blah, blah, blah. Like, so he's calling out stuff. And uh, you just see like all the guys the from Manser MW. And Manser and the Injustice and Savio and all those guys are just like, wow. we're taking MLW back. I know so, Harry. Uh, he just did a match with a fat two. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not out on, that I can find on video. Yeah. But uh, I don't know who won or nothing. So, but. Pretty cool that they're basically like, you know, breathing new life back into it. So they're about to come back. So hopefully we can bring back those MLW reviews because yeah. I really enjoyed MLW. They're, uh, I like to say, I know they got ACH is yep. coming back to them. And uh, I think yeah, they got Yeha coming to a show, if I remember right. Maybe. So, but that may have been before the, yeah, the pandemic. The pandemic. So I don't really so, know. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I saw the uh, like low key put up a picture. I guess he'd been home so long, he done grew some hair back and a oh, goatee and everything. And I'm like, <laughs> like, who's this guy? <laughs> I literally didn't know it was him. It took me a minute to look at the picture really good, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay, yeah, that's pretty funny. So, well, he's always bald, yeah. you know, but technically, I can see why he's going bald, yeah. so that's why he shows his head. That's what we do, yes, it is. <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah, so that's uh, I guess that's this uh, episode of Ego and Break. And until next time, uh, watch wrestling, watch wrestling.